all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back to yet another video so here i have opened my remix id and here i have written a very simple smart contract so here what i have done here i have taken a state variable which is a unt type and here i have created three functions and this function allow me to see the value of my state variable this one will increase the value of my state variable and this will simply decrease the value so these are the three function i have created into this contract so let me save it and let me deploy the contract okay so let's come here and let's click on this so here you can see i'm into the deployment sections in the remix id and i'm using the environment like javascript vm london you can pick any one of these and here this is the account which i have I'm taking okay so when I will deploy the contract I have to pay gas to run this command okay so to deploy this uh, to deploy this coil to deploy this contract and this is the gas limit so let's come here this is the file name I will simply click on deploy and you can see here is my contract which is successfully deployed I will click here and here you can see that I have couple of functions so this one is for decrement this one is for increment and this one is the value of my state variable which is the count okay and this is the gate functions so let me check the value of a count okay if i click here initially it's a zero and it's a unt type you can see 256 and the reason why it's initially zero because there is no concept of null and undefined in solidity programming so when you write your smart contract and when you define any variables in your smart contract as a state variables so by default it value will set to zero okay there is no concept of null and undefined so that's why you can see this is zero if i call this get function this function i'll get zero because there is no value in that and every time I call this function, you can see some of the transactions are taking place. You can easily able to track all the data that how the how it's getting called. Okay, so that's all you can able to track, like which account is calling, how much cash you are paying. So if I come up here, you can see I it got deducted. So okay, I paid a couple of gas fee to run this contract. Okay, so everything's working fine. Now let's set the variable, set the state variable so here what i will do i'm going to call my this so before i increment the state variable let me decrement and let me show you one more thing so what i can do i can bring this up and if i call this decrement value so you will see i will get an error because the reason why this transaction is failed because initially the value of my state variable is zero and there is no amount in that so that's why it's getting this error but if i call this increment value okay the transaction is successful and if i call this count i have a one if i call this get i have a one so as you can see the the value of this state variable is getting increased no matter how many time i call and here is the value so as you can see three no matter how many time i call it will get updated and i will get my state variables and it will update it if i click on this get function i will have saves but you notice one more things every time i run this command every time i run this smart this smart contract i have to pay gas okay once you deploy your contract you have to pay gas on that time but whenever you call your contract you have to pay but if i call this get functions i don't need to pay anything okay i don't need to pay any gas fee so it's and if i call these get functions so if i call this get function i'll get the value six but if i come here if i come here it's still the same okay 513 but if i call this if i call this increment or uh, increment functions so this time what i have done i have changed my state variable which is a unt time and this time i have to pay the gas fee so as you can see it's got decreased so we have to 306 so this is the amount we paid for the transactions <clears throat> so every time you will make any changes in your state variable you have to pay gas fee okay and same thing so if i check it's uh, six right seven right this moment call this function seven if i call this decrement and it will get decreased so this is a sim so this is a very simple smart contract where you can easily able to update your state variable with the uh, increment function and decrement functions and this function will allow you to see the value of your state variables and that's what we are doing and here all the functions are public because we want to call it outside this contract so we can easily able to see right in the front end applications okay so whenever you use this view keyword in your smart contract functions so it simply means that you want to see the value of your state variables this function is not going to do anything so that's what you can see here i'm simply returning this count my state variables because i want to check the value okay i don't want to do anything into my state variable i just want to check the value so this is a very simple smart contract which you can write right in your remix id and i hope 
everything makes sense so so far in this video we have covered that how we can write a simple smart contract and how we can increment the value of our state variable with this increment function and decrement functions and this function will allow us to see the value of our state variables we have covered that every time you make any changes in your state variables you have to pay gas fee okay that's all you can easily able to track here so this is the account and whenever we are doing any transaction we are paying some gas fees but when you call this get function so this function is what it doing it's allowing to see the value okay so when you want to see the value you do you are not performing any changes in the state variable so in that scenario you don't need to pay any gases any gas so you can easily able to call this function as many time as you want but if you call this function you have to pay money so whenever you define your state variables so whenever you create your smart contract you have to be very conscious that where you have to define your state variables and how much you have to pay okay for running that command because state variable is actually going to store in your blockchain in your ethereum blockchain node okay so that's what you have to keep in mind so you don't need to pay high amount for running this smart contract so hope you have found this valuable if you have any questions any doubt leave in the comment section i definitely try to cover that and very soon i'm making a complete tutorial complete course on this solidity so you guys can follow that where we're going to cover every single topic every single keywords which are there in solidity programming and how we can utilize it in our smart contract and once we cover the entire smart contract entire course on solidity about their syntax about their functionality then we'll move to the actual project where we're going to create a like nft marketplace and we're going to create a, a lot of smart contracts so the user can create their nft the user can simply request for nft resales and we're going to store all the data all the nft in ipfs blockchain node okay decentralized place and from there we're going to fetch all the data about the nft okay so hope this video is helpful for you if you have any questions in doubt leave in the comment sections i'll try my best to answer you for the time being that's it bye bye and if you're new to my channel hit that like and subscribe button that will motivate me to come up with this video and i'm learning you guys are also learning so if you have any idea any plan about the writing some i'm learning so if you guys have any idea that how we can improve writing in our solid code so do leave in the comment section because it's fairly a very new field and we are all are learning about this smart contract and blockchain on ethereum so we have to help each other so for the time being that's it see you in the next time have a wonderful day